How is everybody today? It's Marcy here and Maisie. She was a little needy today, so <laughs> we are joining you here live from Southwestern Ontario, Canada. Uh, I am Marcy from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southwestern Ontario, Canada. And I want to welcome you. It is Thursday, April the 6th. It's hard to move your chair when you've got somebody in your arms. Maisie's having a day. Um, Mommy kicked her out of the laundry room because that's where Miss Sylvie has her food. Uh, Connor forgot to close the door this morning and Maisie ate all of Sylvie's breakfast. So, <laughs> so she's been whining at me. So I'm gonna put her down. Uh, please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're coming from. I'm just going to bring you up on my devices here so that I can see you. Okay. And there we go. All right. So um, today was a very good day. Um, my week has been a little crazy. I started my week by falling down the stairs on Monday. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only klutzy person. <laughs> Hello, Tammy. Um, Monday we had our floors were being installed in the upstairs, um, the stairs, the hallway, and the two bedrooms. And I have a table on my front porch that has um, gnomes on it. And Brad was moving it rather roughly from the front porch down off so that the workers would not um, knock it over. And I was looking at him and saying, be careful of my gnomes. And I missed the bottom two stairs. <laughs> I have a very bruised knee and both my wrists um, are quite sore. So that was the start of my day. However, this morning I got a lovely box full of my um, pre-order stuff. So yes, I hope you're ready for some fabulous new colors. So um, hello, Marina and Amy. Hello, Hilda. All right, I'm gonna flip you around. So hold one moment while we do that. Yeah, my um, I landed on my one knee, Amy, and my um hands i put my hands out to break my fall <laughs> and i believe that's something you're not supposed to do but uh it's better my hands than my face <laughs> so yes so we um today i'm cleaning i was at the grocery store as well oh my goodness because it's the holiday weekend and everything is closed tomorrow it um was crazy busy at the grocery store. All right, I think we're good. Are we good? So don't forget, hello, and don't forget about the last chance lists. Up to 60% off on some items. And there has been so many things that have sold out, you guys. It's crazy how quickly things are selling out. So don't forget about that. Um, I don't have my catalog here, so this is just a printout showing you what the cover looks like. They were mailed from um, Utah on the 28th. So uh, being as I'm in Canada, it's going to take a little while for my catalog to get here. They used to add it into your first order. They didn't do that this time, so I have to wait for my uh, catalog to come bulk. Uh, letter mail, so it's going to be a while. Um, please use this month's host code when you're shopping my online store. Um, this month, uh, or next month, um, I'm going to start something new with my host code uh, gift, so be on the lookout for that. Hello, Jeannie, how are you? Um, so this is this month's host code. If you're not comfortable shopping online yourself, please reach out to me. I am more than happy to um, place that order for you. So there we go. I have a few customers that are like that, that 
they uh, text me um, and or call me or email me, whatever works for you. All right, this pre-order is a little different from my other ones because we are in a color refresh. We're saying goodbye to 11 colors um, in our core family and saying hello to 11 new colors. Um, hello, honeybee from Central Florida. Um, so my budget for this pre-order was quite small. Things are tough everywhere, groceries, all that. Crafting is not a necessity. It is a luxury. So um, I don't have the budget to be buying all the things. So I prioritized and um, the colors were my top priority. priority. So um, just be aware of this. You guys that are demonstrators, um, if you haven't placed your pre-order yet, um, the way I'm doing it might help you if you're feeling a little overwhelmed. So I am pulling out all of the new ink colors. Instead of buying a package of each of these colors like I normally do, I got the mixed pack, which gives you four sheets of each of the colors. And I thought, you know what, to get me started, that was good enough because I'm not sure what colors I'm going to love, which colors I'm going to uh, gravitate to more so. Uh, so I thought, you know what, for these colors here, let's just do that. It saves me a little bit of money. All right, so let's spread these out so that we've got all right boho blue wild wheat moody mauve now i am canadian we say mauve um, i know our american friends say mauve and when sarah our CEO did the um, color uh, reveal. When she was saying mauve, I did not know what she was talking about. Um, and then a friend posted the other day on one of our, my groups a um, explanation. So that kind of, I was like, oh, okay. So um, the Americans, you guys, I guess, say mauve. But French and Canadians, we say mauve. So here we go. We have boho blue. Now that was introduced with a little mini machine. And of course I got the ribbons. I will be doing an in color club again as always. So this is very soft ribbon. It is, um, what, it's just called textured ribbon. So this is boho blue textured ribbon, super soft. I'm gonna zoom in. Um, let's see how easy this creates a bow. Oh, <laughs> that's Maisie in the other room. All right, so that creates a fairly quick and easy bow. It, a little, because of the thickness of this ribbon, there is a bit of a uh, bulk there. So be aware of that if you're gonna use that to put on your um, cards for mailing. And if you want, when we're all done, I can stamp um, the images. I can stamp something with each of the colors so you can see better. Um, and then I got the blends. And I ordered, I forgot, I didn't realize that the um, designer series paper um, in the ink colors was available because there was a couple lists. So um, I'll get that soon. So this is the in color, what are they called? In color dots. So they are very pretty. 
So let's move this to the side. All right, so that is um, Boho Blue. Next, let's do Wild Wheat. Now, this was the color that I was not sure on. Although I do like it better in person than seeing it online. Um, I think it is a nicer color than what I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> There's the ribbon as well. Oh, and I also have the markers. I'm going to show you in a second the difference in the markers. They have, they have um, zhuzhed up our markers. So let's move all this stuff. I don't want to have a big pile. Moody Mauve. Let's move this out of the way. And now to me, those of us who are uh, of a certain age, this looks awful, an awful lot like um, Dusty Rose. Do you remember that back in the early 80s? Dusty Rose, yes. Um, Danny's uh, nursery was colored in this, paint, painted in this in, in the early 90s. So it's lovely color. Move that. And then, of course, the blends. So I will, when we're all done, I will open the blends and do a swath of each of those colors for you to see as well. Copper Clay. This looks really terracotta-ish to me. And look at this. I love the tone of this ribbon. So nice. Wild wheat looks like it could be the color gold. Yes, especially, um, honeybee, especially this. Yeah, it's very, um, looks very gold to me. All right, so copper clay. All right, and we've got the blends as well. Pebble Path. I like gray. <laughs> In fact, basically my whole house is painted gray right now. It's been, um, over the years, I have painted many, many different colors. Um, my bedroom at one point was Ralph Lauren. Do you guys remember? It was a textured um, paint and it was called Mo Mojave Sunset. And it was this orangish tone, um, but it had grit in it and you had to paint in X's. Um, that's going back quite a few years <laughs> because we built this house back in um, 93. Yes, 93 we built. So um, love this pebbled path. It is so nice. Gray to me is such a good um, neutral tone. All right, so that is the in color. So let's move these up here. Whoop, I just hit something there. Now, the markers. Now I could, because I didn't get any other markers, so I can open these up to show you. And I did not get all the stuffs, so you guys. Like I said, I was using a small budget and I prioritized the um, colors. Okay, so um, let's grab. All right, so. If you can see this, this is our old marker, the old Stampin' Write, this is the new. So you can see that they have extended the barrel and shortened the cap. But that's not um, the biggest difference. So they, the new um, brush tip is a little wider I don't know if the, it is a little fatter. 
Is it focusing better? Yes. So you can see that. So this part here is um, shorter. All right, so let's flip to the other end. This is the exciting part. So the old Stampin' Write markers, they have like um, a pen tip, right, for writing. The new ones, da 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 look at that. That is so cool. It's more like the bullet tip, like on a Stampin' Blend. So that shows you the difference. Um, very cool, very, very cool. I am very happy about that. The, these are the only markers you, you can get now. Um, they no longer offer the many marvelous markers. You know, you get the big case. Now it's by color families. And I believe, um, this is gorgeous grape. It has it has um, moved locations. It's no longer a bright. I think it's now a regal. I'd have to look that up. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer from Michigan. So you are uh, well. You're if you're southwest. I'm southwest Ontario. So you're not too awful far from me, southwest Michigan. Um, so these are the blends. And like I said, at the end, I will go through the blends. So, and you guys, we're almost done my pre-order. Like I said, I focused on colors. So, bubble bath. Look at this gorgeous pink. I am so thrilled with this. Um... And then I've got the um, the blends. I got blends with each one of the um, papers and ink pads. So I've got the, I've got, I always buy my ink refill with it. And Stampin' Up! is now telling us that it is the best way to do it. When you get a new ink pad, get the ink refill. Because of the dye a lot, you know how they change um, when they're running more sometimes the formulation is just off just a smidge so they're saying that it's always best to purchase at the same time however I always felt it was best because sometimes you know if you want a watercolor or anything like that or if you're using one color a whole lot if you have in-person classes like me um your ink pads get used used a lot and stamps love a good juicy ink pad unless of course it's a um distinctive now i want to open i did not open this i want to open this to show you i pulled my card stocks off my shelf i don't have the retire the older card stocks to show you but oh my gosh this pink is so pretty now our other pink that we have in the subtles is petal pink and comparatively it is does not doesn't that look orange to you so this is petal pink this is bubble bath crazy 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 the difference between the two markers i'm just looking up Hello, Jeannie. The difference between the markers, Amy, is um, they have changed the length of the barrel. So you can see here that the barrel is longer, just a smidge. See the end there? And then um, your cap is shorter and then the end the brush tip end in the new marker is a little fatter there is a difference as well as the other end the bullet 
is no longer um, like a pen tip. They've changed that as well. Okay, put that aside, put that aside. So what a crazy difference. See, I've always liked Petal Pink because I never liked um, um, Blushing Bride. I called it Blushing Brown because mine was always brown looking. The ribbon was beautiful. Oh, what, with, what can you use these for? Um, you can use these to add color to your stamps. So if you have a sentiment stamp, you can add the color, a different color to each line of that sentiment so that you, um, your sentiment is multicolored. Uh, you never liked brushing, blushing bride either, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> um, petal pink is very deceiving. Yeah. Like it, I thought it was a pink look looking. I think I have, even though I've pulled, let me just, I see there is, so this is blushing bride. See, it looks a little pinker with the Blushing Bride, but once you put it with that um, bubble bath, it really is orangey, like a peach. So yeah, crazy how different, with when you put it with a different color, how different it looks. All right, so bubble bath, my favorite color. If you follow me, have been for a while you know that I am a pink girl um so I am thrilled that we finally got a good pink now I was so very sad that um so saffron retired I loved so saffron however oh my gosh I'm loving this lemon lolly now I have here, right behind me. I'm just pulling my so saffron. I've just got it on a shelf behind me here. Look at the difference. So, so saffron, loved the color. Was one of my go-tos I used a lot. Put lemon lolly with it. Wow. <laughs> What a crazy difference. I like, I can't believe how different that looks. I loved pink pirouette. Pink pirouette and soft sky. I really mourned them, Jennifer. Um, yeah, it was a sad day for Marcy when both of those went away. But um, this bubble bath is so gorgeous i love it and i ordered in these colors here i ordered four of the new core colors because i thought you know what the core colors i ordered ones that jumped out at me right away i knew i would be using them um and so i had opened oh, there's the ink pad and the marker for the lemon lolly and we'll right we'll open those up at the end now this is um azure afternoon and i'm not exactly sure how to say that but it is a lovely blue and then of course we've got our ink pad and our blends um I didn't, we couldn't get the ribbon or anything like that with that. Now let's pull a piece of balmy blue. Balmy blue, I've been using a lot lately. It's my go-to. There's balmy blue. And here is um, pool party. I like this blue. 
I think this is going to be one of my um, go-tos. I am a um, subtle girl. I love my subtle colors with a pop of bright. Um, so I'm thinking that these guys are going to be fabulous. I got two of the subtles and two of the brights. So the other color I got was Lemon Lime Twist. Now I did not, I don't have any of these. This was a in color before. Um, I don't remember how many years ago that has come back. So Lemon Lime Twist. And here is our ink. Now the lid of this is like, that almost looks, I don't know. Doesn't look like this color, <laughs> but anyways, this is Lemon Lime Twist. So let's see. Here is our In Color Parakeet Party. So this is uh, more brownie in it, a brown tone than the parakeet. But oh, looks so lovely. And then let's pull out a piece of the granny apple green with it uh, pacific point compare let's see here oh i didn't pull pacific point off my shelf good thing you asked uh, to um pacific point to the come on All right, so there's Pacific Point with the Azure Afternoon. So there you go. And remember lighting and stuff like that, like how it um, transfers visually to the camera as to what I see is a little different too. Yes, Pebble Path and the um, and the uh, Bubble Bath together are going to be gorgeous. So then I got we were could get two different. There was two different embellishments. So these are the adhesive back solid gems. So oh, so lovely this lemon lolly. And this would be boho blue and um, cop. It's gonna take me a while. What is that? Cop copper something or other. Oh, copper clay. It's I'm looking out to the side and it's in front of me. Copper clay. So oh, they are lovely. Then. I got the Bright and Beautiful 6x6 Designer Series paper because I had seen this ahead of time and it was gorgeous. I love this. So this is Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. So um, the only color I have of that is the Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Bubble Bath, and Azure. Oh, well, Fresh Freesia, I have that too. But the darker uh, Blueberry Bushel, Lost Lagoon, and Berry Burst, I don't have those. So, again, four sheets of each. Oh, this is stars. Oh, this is so very pretty. Okay. So I, I got this because I knew oh, just by looking at it that I would be able to use this right away. I love the patterns. I love the watercolor color wash look. This is so fresh looking, that yellow stripe. Oh, look at the polka dots. Cute. 
cute and fun. So like I said, I prioritized. Um, I like these stars too. Oh, I love this. I prioritized my order to the inks, the new colors. So um, I've got one sweet and one stamp set and the rest was my colors. So fun. And I chose colors that spoke to me that I knew I would use right away. Oh, I just love that. Yeah, so that is how I prioritize. What am I going to use right away? What do I love? What jumps out at me? I'm not going to use all of the stuff all at once. So I, I've got, we've got a whole year with this. We can take our time and purchase what really speaks to us. And that way we stay within our budget. Now, this is a host stamp set. Um, right now, during pre-order, is the only time us demonstrators can, um, you can buy it. We pay for it. After that, we have a, you get it free with um, a qualifying order. So you, in Canada, you need $200 before tax and shipping to be able to um, get host rewards. So that's this is something that you would be able to get with that. So this is the uh, one. There's two host set stamp sets. I got this one, the Moths, the Night of Flight, and it is photopolymer, and they are quite large. They are quite large. Um, but you know why I got that? Because I thought it would go perfect with, um, my Lighting the Way. I love this, um, my case here is broken. I love this set and I thought that Night of Flight would go perfectly with the Lighting the Way with those um, little fireflies. So that's what why it spoke to me because I thought, ooh, I could totally pair this together. Something new with something I already have. Now this has um, carried over, but not as a bundle, you guys. And the dies for this are awesome. I'm just pulling them out here. Or not, where are ya? There we go. So there's the dies for that. So I would suggest if you like um, this, I would get it now while you can get it as a bundle and save yourself that 10%. Otherwise you're paying full price for that and full price for that in the um, new annual catalog. But oh, I can't wait to play with this. So, and then my one sweet. This was top of my list. I move this stuff so I don't. This was the absolute top of my wish list. So let's pull you back out a bit. Get this stuff out of the way. All right. So. We have, so this is a sweet. So sweet means that um, Stampin' Up! gives us one order code and you get everything that is included in that sweet. So we have the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack and it is um, Lemon Lime Twist and Petal Pink. So those are colors that are in the new catalog together. So a returning core color and a new um, to the color family. Then we've got 
Zany Zoo. Oh my goodness. I love this set. And I've, I've heard some people say, you know, that you wouldn't give your 58 year old friend, um, a card with one of these for their birthday. And I'm thinking I'm going to be 58 years old next month. And I would absolutely love a birthday card with, um, any of these characters. They're so cute. I love the cute, whimsical critters. I love the critters. So this is Kling. So cute. We have dies. So Jennifer, you, you think it would be hilarious too? Yes. I mean, you got to be light and fun and enjoy, enjoy the smiles. <laughs> Because this stuff makes me smile. And this stuff, the dyes with this, use your adhesive sheets. Oh my gosh, because there's teeny tiny tulips. There's a flower. I'm not sure what this... Is that a... Oh, you know what? Is that a vase? I'm not sure what that dye is. We've got a cloud. We've got a balloon. Um, we've got the an easel or something banner, um, your scalloped edgelet, of course, the curtain for curtain call. Uh, I don't know if that's a stool or what exactly. That looks like, um, that looks like sausages. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you know, like grilled sausages. And then of course your llama, your alligator on the bike, your um, raccoon with the balloons, skunk, that turtle is hilarious. Our um, leopard with the, she's a ballerina. Oh, so cute. So look at the paper. So this is how to, I picked those other two colors. Um, Zoo Crew. So it is basic black crumb cake, lemon lime twist, lemon lolly, petal pink, pool party, and pumpkin pie. So I knew that lemon lime twist, lemon lolly, and and um, we're in those two colors were in this. So that's why I knew I had to get um, the lemon lime twist. And so I thought, you know what, let's just add the Azure Afternoon because I liked the look of it as well. So our dies, is it a vase? I thought it might be, but I wasn't sure, you know. All right. So these guys can be, they're, some of them are white, right? So you can color them. You can color in his, this little alligator. See that die cuts him out. Um, you can fussy cut the rest of these dudes. So this is a, so cute. And look at that. Oh, that's freaking my eyes out. Um, B pattern beside. Oh my gosh, look at the koala with the cupcakes, the dog with the little um, blower. Oh my gosh, so cute, the aardvark. Elephant, so you could totally use your um, watercolor pencils to color that in or carefully with your um, Stampin' Blends, but you'd have to be very careful the texture and the consistency of designer series paper i find when you're trying to use a blend with it it bleeds more so you'd have to be very very careful but oh my gosh that's so cute and fun and there's the back My goodness that is hilarious um now who wouldn't smile with that cute um sloth doing uh yoga or meditating <laughs> so adorable all right so here is our llama who is knitting and as you can see we could die cut that out 
There we go. Oh, so fun. And our goat that's mixing up the cake batter. Hedgehog that's painting. Oh, so fun. Wow, I love the artist um, that did that. So awesome. Hello, Sylvie. And there's the opposite side. And I must say, I've noticed Connor's cat, Sylvie, likes to eat ribbon. So I have to make sure that my uh, room is, the door is closed because she's chewing on my ribbon. <laughs> okay, so here is our cute little turtle singing. And that die fits that. And look at the frog on the flute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Beaver on the drums. So adorable. And then the opposite side is this polka dot. And here's our ballet, which Here we go. Let's do this one up here. So there she is for those ballerinas in your life. So cute. <laughs> the sheep. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's kitty cats. And the opposite. Oh, Honeybee's got her catalog. How exciting. Yeah, when my um, mail truck drove by, I immediately grabbed my key and headed down. But sadly, no. No catalog for me yet. Is that a kitty cat or a meerkat? This here? I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's a kitty cat, but I think you can make it whatever you want. But so adorable. Just love this. And I personally love to fussy cut. So um, I'm going to have fun fussy cutting out these uh, critters because they are so sweet. And here for our outdoors people in our lives, we've got a backpacking pig a um, tiger that is having a bonfire with the marshmallows, so cute. And there's our skunk that has the uh, binoculars. Nope, that's not the right one, it's this one. Nope, yes, this one here. So there's our skunk. And then you can also, these trees, to me, look like little Christmas trees. They are cute. Very cute. Now, I'm not sure, because I don't have my catalog. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what that is. I haven't seen anything. So because I don't have the catalog on hand, I'd have to look it up on my iPad and uh, see after the fact. I'll have to go back. And so we even have little mountains. So cute. Oh, and then the opposite side is a fun little flower pattern that you could totally color in. So, you guys, that is my pre-order. Like I said, I prioritized um, this suite. Totally spoke to me. So, I wanted to get um, it. That was the top of my list. So, I'm looking for a stamp that would be good to show our colors. Let's do this here so i pull that off and i'm going to grab a block so this is going to show you what those colors stamp like 
I mean, I've got some time. I hope you do as well. I've got, um, I have to wash floors. <laughs> we have um, my family coming on Sunday for Easter Sunday. So I've got the floors vacuumed. I don't have them washed yet. So, all right. So let's start with our new core colors. Move this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to All right, first, let's do this. So this is Lemon Lime Twist. So Lemon Lime Twist. So that is the light. Let's zoom in. And that is the dark. And, ooh, a fresh, brand new ink pad. All right, so let's see. And there's hairs on here. There we go. Another one. Oh my gosh, there's so many fuzzies on this. There. So. Oh, what a great color. Oh, the sausage dies looking dies could be curtain ties. That. Aren't you clever, honeybee? My goodness, I didn't think of that. <laughs> All right, so that's Lemon Lime Twist. Then let's do Azure Afternoon. Find those blends. That's your light. And that, oh, it's very intense. That's your dark. And I always find with photopolymer, sometimes you need to, this is a very juicy ink pad. I find sometimes you need to, um, or at least I like to ink it up all right, that is really saturated. So I'm gonna see if I can't. I'm stepping on the bubble wrap. Grab a few of these. All right, I got a spoon here. So if there's too much ink sitting at the top, take something smooth you don't want to rip that foam pad push that ink back down all right and let's try that again still not great but it is better and there's the best so there's that color. It is a lovely color. That's Azure Afternoon. These out of the way as we bring in the others. So I have nine new colors in the house. So next up is Um, the lemon lolly. Yes, it is a vase. Um, could they, they be ant, antlers that could be added to the critters? 
Um, you're looking in the caddy. <laughs> All right, so lemon lolly. So this is going to be a very soft yellow. Oh, I like it. It is lovely. All right, so let's see. This looks bubbly as well. Not too bad. Oh, what a great yellow. Great yellow. Okay. And my new favorite pink, the bubble bath. And here we go. Move that down a bit. So this end here. bubble bath is very light oh it's such a pretty pink so pretty oh my goodness yes thank you for giving us this glorious pink it is so good this is what we have been missing Okay, such a nice soft pink. All right, so that is my core colors, the new ones. So let's move them so that nothing goes tumbling down. All right. So then we're going to flip that over. Make sure I'm still in screen. All right, so Moody Move. There's our light. There's our dark. It's quite an intense dark tone. Wow. Wow, that is a deep, deep color. So I hope you guys have fun plans for the weekend. For Easter weekend, I hope you're able to, those of you that celebrate, I hope you are able to get together with some loved ones. So this is wild wheat. Now, I really like the tone of the light, I have to say. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to push the ink down with that one. I think I will with that one too. When they send us these new ink pads, they make sure that they are good and saturated. Okay, next is copper clay. There is the light and the dark. I like that tone. It is nice. Yeah, this, uh, this is going to need a pushing down as well, I can see. because it's so heavy with ink. So let's push that down. Move that. Push that in. All right, I always keep a few plastic spoons in my office here, my craft room, so that I can do this. There we go, that's better. That is a lovely color. So over time, I will gradually add more of the um, core colors to my family. All right, I'm going to just yeah, as the budget allows. So don't be overwhelmed with getting that order. Make it, make it fit into your budget. Make your list. Pick out your favorites that really speak to you, that you know you will use right away. Oh, I forgot to do the... Uh, That almost, that almost looks like a light black. Um, so this is Pebble Path. There we go. Oop. So this. And if you are in Canada and are a customer watching, you can add any of these products to your starter kit right now. You can join my team and pick brand new products to add to your starter kit. And then you get a minimum of 20% discount moving forward once you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So this is Boho Blue. You don't have to do what I do. You can be a happy discount shopper. Most of my team is. They love the products and they love getting it at a discount. You do what you want to do. That's the beauty of it. Okay, whoop. Come on, open up. Brand new uh, ink pads are generally a little stiff. So I'm just... All right. And I signed up for a swap. So... I'm gonna have fun trying to decide what I'm gonna use. There we have it. 
Okay. What do you guys think? What is your favorite color? There they all are. Are they all in screen now? There we go. So that's all the colors that I have. Look at all that. Oh, it's so lovely. Just makes me happy. <laughs> all these beautiful new colors. Yeah, so this is where I chose to put my money. I have stamp sets from the other catalog that I hadn't shown any love to yet. So um, I decided to pick two stamp sets, one, bund one bundle, well, actually the suite, and one single stamp set um, that I kn knew I could pair with something I already have. Um, to get even more use out of it and then focus my efforts on um, getting new colors. So that way I made my budget stretch farther because I could not afford to get everything I wanted. So I chose to um, work with the new colors to get um, them replaced because nothing drives me crazier than picking a paper or something that I want to work with and then not having, oh, I don't have that. Oh, I don't have that. I'm a, um, a color coordinated type of person that I like, you know, I like all the things to, to look good together. So getting the new ink colors and the new, um, a few of the new colors uh, especially the ones that went with this fabulous paper. To me, because they're all they're gonna work together, that works very well for me. I'm very happy with what I've got. And I hope that um I um inspire you and I've helped you kind of um figure out your order. I know I have a lot of demonstrators that um watch me so um, I'm always happy to um, if any of uh, any of my tips that work for me will work for you so let's all right so um, copper clay and pebble path And boho blue. Wild wheat. And yes, I am doing an in color club. And um, moody mauve. I want to call it misty mauve. I don't know why. <laughs> it's moody mauve. All right. Um, so let's see what this and where's the gray? Oh, Amy wanted said that she'd like to see these two together. Look at that. That I think looks oh so lovely. I can't wait to start playing. Sadly, I have housework to do. <laughs> so, um, do you guys have any questions? Anything else you want me to show? Yes, that combo is fabulous. And then I love pairing gray with anything. 
Look at the gray and yellow. <gasps> oh, it's so, oh, I love, I love pairing gray with other colors. It just makes them pop. So, um, what is this called? <laughs> Lemon Lolly. So this is Lemon Lolly. It's going to take me a while, but oh, I love the way this looks. These two together, it just pops. Yeah, I knew that the uh, Pebble Path was going to be possibly my favorite in color. Um, but oh, these look so good. Now let's see Pebble Path with the Azure, nah, I'm not loving it with the Azure. But the Lemon Lime, is it Lemon Lime Twist? Yes. Le oh, look at that with the Lemon Lime Twist. So put, <laughs> everybody put Pebble Path on your, <laughs> on your order. It look, at, look at how great it looks. It's so awesome. But like I said, I am a Suttles girl. And these, oh, either of these just look so lovely. So lovely. Marina doesn't know what her favorite is yet. All right. So you guys, that is all for me. This was a long live, but and I didn't have a whole lot of product. It was a lot of color um, to show you the inks, the markers, the card stocks. Yeah. So um, anyhow, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, blessed weekend. I'm going to flip you around. So hold just one moment because I'm going to move you so I can say goodbye. You can see my TV there. <sighs> okay. There I am. <laughs> so I hope I have inspired you. I hope I've helped you um, with any questions you might have about the new ink colors. Um, my favorites. I absolutely love these. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to play, but you know, I don't have cleaning fairies here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Roomba ran all morning long so that I could uh, get washing those floors after I was done my live. I've already been to the grocery store, so um, hopefully I can wash quickly so I can come right back downstairs and play. Have a wonderful, safe Easter weekend. Um, enjoy whatever you're doing. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. And I will, um, Monday is a holiday. I'm not sure if I will be live or not. If I'm not live, I will have a video. It is um, Easter Monday. Not everybody has it off. Uh, my son Damon has it off and wanted me to go golfing, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> I am not physically ready to golf. So that is all for me today. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys joining me, uh, sending my love and uh, safe wishes to everybody out there. Um, and if you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Uh, give me thumbs ups. Um, that all helps me. All right, you guys have a great weekend and we will see you uh, next week at some point. Happy Easter, everybody. Mwah! Bye!